Hey everybody, how's it going? I've loaded up HyperRig Kiesel by Polychrome DSP. Now I've only been playing on this for about 10, 15 minutes. I've gone back to the default settings and I'm gonna go through this plugin and discover things in real time. This is kind of like a reaction video. Now I've heard of Polychrome DSP, it's McRockland's company, or he's affiliated with that company, I'm not too sure. And if you've seen any of McRockland's videos, he's a Kiesel artist, and he's an unbelievable guitar player. And their first plugin was very much like a, you know, a lead guitar player's dream rig, you know, it had all types of crazy effects. A really nice plugin. I didn't demo it because I thought it was very expensive. And this plugin, Hyperrig Kiesel is very expensive too. It's like 120 something dollars. Not gonna lie, I've never paid that much for any kind of guitar plugin, but uh, I was just so interested in checking out this plugin because I've got a Kiesel and this is the first thing Kiesel have done since like 2015 that isn't just a guitar. And now they've got a Kiesel branded plugin. I think it's really, really cool. So this is the default tone. Okay, it's some sort of rhythm tone, and the gain is kind of low, so I'm just gonna pump the gain up a bit. And there's three amps. Kind of a clean thing, maple. Carbon's like a rhythm amp. Infusion, more of a soaring high gain thing. So let's just press some buttons, turn some knobs, see what we can get. That sounds pretty nice. Push, this seems to do something to the power section emulation. I mean, an ultra modern sounding amp so far. Tight switch. So right there guys, I'm not even using any pedals and we've got a tight, modern, high gain sound. Sounds really cool. I'll turn the tight switch off, turn the gain down a little bit and we'll put on the drive. So from what I can see, this is like a Tube Screamer-ish type thing, but we've got this tight knob. And from what I could see on other videos, I think they're going for a precision drive kind of thing here. So let's see. up a bit. Turn the gate up a bit more. The pauses you can hear are because I'm playing the demo version. You don't get a fully featured trial. You get an everlasting demo version with pauses, which is fine. You know, you get my honest opinion. You can tell I've not paid for this and they've not sent me a license. So this is all my own thoughts and feelings, guys. <laughs> Sounds kind of cool. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, great tones so far. So let's go to the cab section. Now the cab section, it's just some fixed IR sounds. There's no mics to move around, all that kind of thing, which honestly, I appreciate sometimes. Sometimes I want simplicity. Sometimes I want, you know, all the mics in the world, all the speakers, you know, I want to tweak the hell out of things, but you know, it's nice to just have some fixed sounds and these fixed IR sounds, they have a great. <laughs> I can even load an IR there, which is pr pretty cool, but I'm just gonna stick with what it's got. Another pause, because we're using the demo. Very cool tone, I'd be well happy with that on a song. Bit more mid, mid forward there. I'm having fun here guys, this sounds fantastic. So you can click here and you get different IRs that I guess are matched with the different amps. So let's go straight to the infusion. Let's see what this sounds like. Turn the delay and the reverb off. Let's go with, let's go with a matched cab. No effects are on. very shred friendly tone. Let's put that mid boost back on. Got a bit of gain going there. Let's try this boost. Yeah, we need to get some delay and reverb on there. Let's see what we can end up with. Get rid of, turn the sync off, put the time down to 300-ish. Yeah, I mean, that's like a perfect lead tone. Another pause. I'm gonna put the gate back on quite high. Let's see if we can get some sort of like, you know, kick ass, like tight rhythm tone. I mean, drop G sharp if you're wondering, guys. <laughs> Let's scoop those mids, because scooping mids is fun. Oh, 
another pause. Oh, I'm, I'm in the I'm in the mood. <laughs> Yeah, fantastic tones, guys. If you're hearing what I'm hearing, I'm loving this. Yeah, more of a growly thing there. Let's go to the carbon cabs. Back to the infusion cabs. Yeah, room and air and all this stuff is to give you a bit more of a real world experience, I think. Room, like, a, you know, the cabinet in the room. Right, and they've got this wide at the top, which if you're going through two speakers, which I hope you are, it uh, gives you a, a wider sound. Yeah, and it really does. Turn it off. Yeah, it's nice to have features like this. It adds value because when you're charging over $100 for something, over 100 quid, you want things like this to make it more worth your while purchasing because can you get great tones for free? Absolutely. I've got stuff all over my channel like that. And speaking of adding value, they've got this hypertune. And yeah, it's a transpose knob. You can pitch down your guitar and pitch it up as well. I'm already in drop G sharp, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to my uh, second string, which is D sharp tuning. All right, so you can go a whole octave lower. That's pretty crazy. So I'm gonna just detune this a, a couple of times and see if it tracks chords really well, because that's the real test for something like this. I'm gonna pitch it, keep pitching it down. So far, so good. So far, so good, guys. It's sounding pretty good with a with a complex chord. We're getting into drop Z territory here. Let's just go down a full octave. So this is drop, drop G sharp. <laughs> good fun. I mean, it's working. That is a really good transpose feature. Now I use JS pitch shifter on Reaper and that is okay in a pinch, but it's not great on chords. This is pretty good on chords, guys, from what I can hear here. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I just want to try the clean amp. All right, so I've got a clean tone with the compressor on and I'm compressing the snot out of it. Pause again. Mm. 
So that is about it, guys. I think this is an excellent sim. Yes, it's really expensive. Is it worth the money? I don't know if you're willing to pay for it. Yeah, you get great tones, you get some great features. It sounds fantastic for cleans and rhythms and leads and I'm sure there's some more crazy tones in here as well that you can get with the EQs and the delays and the reverbs, but I mean, it, it's a solid tone. It sounds fantastic. And uh, yeah, Keysol should be pretty proud to have their name on this. It does sound great. As always, guys, don't take my word for it. Links down below. Get the demo, check it out for yourselves. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And subscribe if you want to see more metal-related stuff. I'll be back sometime with a video on something else. So until then, ciao.